And I just had a Zoom call with a couple of pastors and they asked me, so what's going to happen after return to Jesus? And it was an amazing question because, yeah, we're going to work so hard and get the heartland together next year on 7-14-24, have churches sign up and have a moment where we can cry out for revival in America. But then what? It's a great question. And so it opened up an opportunity for me to share about the Elam Worship Academy, which is going to happen from January 2024 until June of 24, six months where we as a team, the Elam team, the Well of Iowa, we're going to walk alongside churches that sign up, church teams that sign up. And we're going to really uh, pour out our lives and pour out our experiences, pour out our relationships to really serve and empower and, and cultivate and, and even tap on giftings and callings because we believe that everything that we're doing is to stimulate, to strengthen, to empower the church because we want to equip pastors and leaders and worship leaders. We want teams to be stronger. We want small churches and small cities to feel empowered and reminded uh, and, and really just reminded to really keep going and keep fighting because this is a day that the church has to rise, like I mentioned in the other video too, like this is a day where we have to rise and meet the need of brokenness and hardship and desperation, meet the need of lostness uh, and depression in our cities. And if we are going to be depressed ourselves, if we're going to be discouraged ourselves, if we're going to be uh, disjointed and divided ourselves, then how can we come to the needs of our city, of our families, of our regions? And so we are opening up this entire season to really pour ourselves out. And so we've actually been doing this for quite some time. I've been serving pastors and churches for the last four to five years in different cities. Um, my most recent one was a celebration church in Waterloo, and we were serving a team, getting them empowered and strengthened to really step into their call because worship and team is really at the forefront of making churches impactful and effective for the kingdom and, and the glory of God. And so we are opening up lanes for pastors, worship leaders, and band leaders, and even just people who are helping techn technology-wise, like pro presenter people, keys, guitars, piano, electric guitars. We're opening up lanes to serve every facet of that ministry team. And, and really, we're praying also for representation for all our connections in Nashville and other states where we'll, be ha we'll have instructors come in from those places and walk with you for an entire season, not just for a weekend, but walk with you for an entire season and have a Zoom call every week and a workshop every month and really be like relational in the approach to come alongside and strengthen and empower so that after return to Jesus, you're not just leaving to go back to a church that was. It's, it's going to be an empowering moment to go back, to be more effective, to push the darkness even farther back from, from where it was in your city, in your community. And so it's going to be an amazing, amazing, empowering moment. And so I'm, I'm just humbly requesting you that if you are somebody who's been serving for two to three months in your church, whether as a volunteer, a leader, a pastor, a worship leader, um, whatever, like, I would encourage you to go to Elam Worship Academy. So return to Jesus.info forward slash academy. You can learn all the details about this whole thing and you can see how to get engaged because truly it's designed to walk with your life. It's not designed to take you away from your life. It's designed to walk with your life. We know what it means to have a day job. We know what it means to have family. We know what it means to have a lot going on. So we've designed it in such a way to where we'll walk with you, but we'll have conversations, We'll have moments of really training and outpouring, both spiritual and technical, so that you can understand both fronts of that and be more effective as a worker in the kingdom of God, okay? And so, again, going back to the Jehoshaphat story, what happened? When there was trouble in the nation, he called everyone together. They prayed and they worshiped, and they appointed singers, they appointed worshipers, they cried out to God. They actually had a worship service that was orchestrated and, and there was a lot of technology involved in that sense, right? And so, so it's a very biblical thing to do, to, to really be empowered, to be strengthened, to pursue the skill set. God's calling us to be skillful in, in how we approach worship. And so there is an art to that and we want to pour into you and really 
and pour out, really pour out all that God has done in our lives into you because we know that this is a day where the church should not be falling or, or getting discouraged. It needs to be empowered and be, be revived, like we're saying, right? It revived in the name of Jesus for the name of Jesus. So learn more, again, at returntojesus.info forward slash academy. Reach out, ask questions, whatever you need to do, but really just see it as a step to walk with us and walk alongside your church and your team and to really make this entire thing one that really stands the the test of time. It's not a momentary thing. It's going to be a long-lasting, impactful thing for you to sign up and journey with us and walk with us and then go back, like I said, after July and go back into a church and have the tools and have that empowerment to really be effective in your area, all right? So God bless you guys and cannot wait to see you, hopefully, and talk to you, work, work with you, walk with you. Um, and ultimately, we just want to all say love you guys so much too. So take care.